Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. Today is November 7th, 2019. My name is Nick Santiago. Thank you all for tuning in this morning. Today, we have the futures up about 13 points at the moment. You're going to see that they had that big rocket ship move here. This was on the back of an announcement made by China saying that the U.S. will drop some tariffs as they go into uh, phase one and phase two of their deal. So again, market seems to love that news and uh, futures are higher across the board. I actually thought we'd get a better reaction, but uh, I guess 13 points is not too bad. Uh, we'll see how this market plays out today. But in the meantime, we have lots of stocks in the news, lots of earnings. Let's get started with the big one here. Qualcomm is first up. That stock right now trading at 89.07, closed at 84.63. So nice little pop for Qualcomm. It is a little bit overbought on the daily chart. If you take a look at the daily chart, a little bit stretched, but the reality of it is um, the trend is up. So again, uh, we'll look at this one once the opening bell rings. If you own it, trail the stop loss. If you don't own it, I'd probably leave it alone for now, but we'll look at that one once the opening bell rings. Another name in play today is gonna be Expedia, E-X-P-E. -E. Uh, the stock right now is getting absolutely slaughtered. Closed at $135.36 now trading at 116.80. When I look at this name today, I think it can still actually go lower. So be a little bit on guard here, be a little bit careful. This is a pretty good smackdown for Expedia. Um, I'll have some levels ready, posted up in the intraday uh, live trading room. So that'll be ready right around 9.15 this morning. So in just a little while, I'll put it up there, but Expedia will be in play for us today. Next up, we wanna take a look at Roku, R-O-K-U is the ticker symbol there. Uh, the stock right now is also getting hit pretty hard. Closed at $141.05, now trading at $120.39. This is a tough one for levels because the stock recently sold off in early October down below $100. Now it uh, had a, a quite a rebound. So if it does take out that $100 low, this stock could be problematic. But right now, I would say traders should probably keep an eye on the 111 area. 110 around that area should be pretty decent short-term support if it does fall further. Next up, I want to take a look at Square. SQ is the ticker symbol there. Stock closed at $61.34, now trading at $62.30, so a little uptick there. Square could probably go up to around 34 maybe 34 uh, 64 to 64 and a half. I don't see it going much past that. In fact, you can see that's exactly what it did in the after hours yesterday. Next up, we want to take a look at Norwegian Cruise Line, NCLH. Uh, this stock right now trading at 52.15. It did have a brief sell-off, then it rebounded up. It's basically flat from where it closed yesterday at 52.06. Again, 54 looks to be the big resistance level on the upside. Um, so we'll be keeping an eye on this one, but nothing I would do with it yet. Wait till the opening bell rings, then we'll re-examine it. Next up, want to take a look at Cardinal Health, CAH. This stock uh, catching a good little bit this morning, closed at 51.43, now trading at 51.40, uh, now trading, closed at 51.43, now trading at 53.60. So again, if you own Cardinal Health, I would trail the stop loss immediate. Uh, when you look at the weekly chart, there's a lot of resistance here, right around this $55 level. So if you own Cardinal Health, just trail that stop loss, nothing wrong there. Next up, let's take a look at Baidu, B-I-D-U. Uh, this one right now getting a good little pop, trading at 115.42, closed at 107.36. Again, the same rules apply here for this one. This has been a beaten down Chinese ADR, finally finding a little footing. So we'll see if it can hold its gains into the close, but it got to prove itself a little bit. Again, if you own Baidu, trail the stop loss. Nothing I'll do with it now, but I will keep it on the radar for later. Uh, right off the bat, um, this stock probably runs into real good resistance around the 120 level. So again, uh, Baidu with a strong pop ahead of the open. Let's take a look at TripAdvisor, TRIP. This stock right now trading at 38.50, closed at 40.79. Um, this could come down to around 37 and a quarter, maybe 37.40. There seems to be some support there. We'll look at this one as well once the opening bell rings. Next up, I want to take a look at Dish Networks. This stock's catching a nice bid today. Closed at 33.52, now trading at 35.72. I'm going to give it the upside bias to 37. So if you own it, trail it, and uh, see if it get up to that 37 level. That is going to be your resistance zone. Next up, Ralph Lauren is in play. RL is a ticker symbol there. Great pop for this stock. Closed at $100.88, now trading at 109.75. So very good move for Ralph Lauren. Um, 
I'm going to try to work out some levels for this. I don't have any done yet, but I will get to them. Next up, I want to take a look at GoDaddy, G D D Y. This stock right now trading at $69, closed at $62.96. So this is a good little move for GoDaddy. We'll see how this plays out in the first 30 minutes. That'll tell us a lot more. We'll be watching for pattern. But right now, give it the upside bias since the market is up, and we'll see where we go. Next up, I want to take a look at the gold market. Gold futures today, um, <clears throat> right now, basically trading, or the GLD trading at 139.75. Spot gold down about $8.60 at the moment. So gold is getting hit a little bit. If you take a look at gold futures, you'll see that's down ticked a little bit. So we'll keep an eye on that today. We'll see how that plays out. Crude oil today catching a nice bid uh, back above 57, trading at 57 and a quarter. Got a, right up to this uh, 57.38 level, now backing off just a touch. Again, I think crude can still make its way up to around 58 and a quarter, maybe 58 and a half. Probably stalls out a little bit there, but the China news is probably pushing oil up a little bit this morning. So we'll see how that shakes out. Again, if you have not done so, come on over. Check out the live day trading room. We're having a great 2019. Going to look to keep that going right into the end of the year. And I should have some gap plays out there. Already got a few done. And I'm going to be working on a few more right at the open. So again, get ready for that. Should be a pretty wild open here. We got lots of movement, lots of moving parts, and lots of earnings out there. So again, get ready. Come over, check out that live trading room. You can trade right alongside of us. Have a great trading day, everybody. And we'll see you a little bit later on the charts.